News now of that interfaith conversion and marriage row from Kerala with the involving a 25-year-old woman, Hadia, was finally heard by a three-court, uh, three-judge bench headed by the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of India, which has decided to free her from her parents' custody. She's been in her parents' custody for the last 11 months after the Kerala High Court annulled her marriage to a Muslim man after she converted to Islam. The Supreme Court has also ordered the Kerala government to send Hadia to a homeopathy college to complete her surgeonship. Joining us right now is Mr. A. Raghunath, sir. Uh, you representing uh, Hadia's father. Um, what happened in the court today? Uh, Hadia, I believe, uh, was interacted with for around 25 minutes. Supreme Court has said she can go ahead for her further her surgency and studies. Yeah, we are have very, I mean, we are very happy with what has been said today. Supreme Court has said that that, that the girl should complete her studies, and the girl has been sent to Salem. But the, the marriage, which has been annulled by the High Court, has not been stayed. So as of now, that she is not a married girl. Uh, she wanted uh, her so-called husband to be her guardian, which has been refused. Uh, sir, just a minute, sir. What do you mean by it has been refused? Was there something said about it? Did the court say no, something about no, it being refused? She, she repeatedly wanted her husband to be her guardian. She said this? Yes. Okay. Which has been refused. What did the judge say, sir? The judge said no. Uh, her, her husband cannot be the guardian. The dean of the university will take care of it. Also, one more thing, sir. Um, the marriage, the, uh, the stay on the annulment of the marriage has not happened. Mm. But does this mean technically, uh, she's told the court that there's been 11 months mm. since she's been in confinement, mm. which includes a period when the high court had directed her to stay. Yes, yes. Is, is that admittedly now a big blow to something that was an individual's liberty? No, I don't think so. I mean, uh, we all, I mean, as a parent, I want my daughter to complete her studies. That has been done. So, so I am happy with so the order. How about today's hearing? Alhamdulillah, my stand has been uh, vindicated. So I'm very happy. Right. And what has the court said about uh, Hadia's case? Have you been allowed to meet her? Yes. That I'll answer. Yes. What happened today? If uh, most of the most of you would have been uh, uh, over there, uh, basically the court has actually set her free today. So that means that she was actually in illegal custody. The court actually interviewed her. After the interview, court came to a conclusion that she should be set free, and uh, the way to set free was to continue her education. She had left her education midway because of all these problems. Now uh, she has to go back to uh, her college in Salem and continue her internship.